वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कंप्यूटर एडिट डिजाइन लेबोरेटरी एज यू आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस कोर्स इन दिस सेमेस्टर एंड द कोर्स कोड फॉर दिस सेट सब्जेक्ट इज सी आई वी फाइव वन जीरो इट हैज टू प्रैक्टिकल्स इन अ वीक एंड क्रेडिट ऑफ द कोर्स इज वन सो ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट बी अवेयर दैट इन द कंप्यूटर एडिट डिजाइन लेबोरेटरी वी आर गोइंग टू यूज software stat pro now what stat pro stands for it is structure analysis and design program now we will be talking about that what this course is all about basically the stat pro is one of the most widely used structure analysis and design software products worldwide it supports over 90 international steel concrete timber and aluminum design codes it can be used for analysis and design of all types of structural projects from plants buildings and bridges to towers tunnels metro stations water or waste water treatment plants and more it is basically an analysis and design software it can analyze a 3d structure which is a quite complex task otherwise so we can design any structure mentioned above corresponding to steel concrete timber and aluminum design codes and there are various country codes available over there which are inbuilt in the software now where we can understand how we can understand the application of the subject it can be used for modeling designing and analyzing various structures and structural configurations that means we can create the geometry which is available over there then we can analyze the structure and corresponding to the analysis results we can go up to the designing part other than buildings it is useful for bridges also shear walls is another feature which has been incorporated into it uh, after steel buildings uh, we can also design the connections and can understand the detailing now this is just an example that how a 3d structure has been modeled over there uh, in stat pro that uh, the all the structural components that beams columns then the foundations have been shown over here okay so all this you can create in the given software now it has been shown over here say this is a tower has been shown over there then a truss has been shown a um, dome structure has been shown and a, a bridge deck slab has been shown over here so in all the real time projects we this software can be very very helpful you can model these types of structures and then you can analyze those there are templates also available so which can be very helpful to you while modeling the structure uh the application of this subject in industry if you see that various uh, big companies they are also using these soft this software for example lnt sipem sp structure it is star is engineering group com and cc limited so everyone is right now dependent on this this software for one or the other application now coming over to the list of practicals or the experiments which you are going to perform is first of all that uh, structural modeling okay before the structural modeling i will make you introduce to the various uh, features available for the software that uh, what are the basic commands from where you can use because the commands are available at various platforms uh thin structure modeling how you can model a structure you can use star data you can use graphical user interface or you can use the templates available also that directly you can uh, take the values uh, so take the model from there then the types of loads and definitions that what are the different types of the loads which you can define yourself and can apply similarly there are various types of supports available which we can apply in case of the modeling the structure second comes that analysis and design of beams we are not directly reaching to the structure but we are first focusing on the 
uh, structural components you will see that what manually you are getting the results for the analysis the similar results will be available to you through these softwares okay so first of all we'll be talking about the beams concrete and steel both then we'll be moving on to the beam column orientation what beam column orientation means that how we will be providing the columns at various places and what should be the direction okay whether we are going to orient the length or the width if it is a rectangular one how it should be placed so that we are getting the best configuration for the structure and then after that we'll be analyzing the multi story buildings after that we'll be understanding the beam column grouping okay grouping means that similar types of the columns or the similar types of the beams will be grouped as a particular beam group b1 or column group say c1 or c2 or cx something like this and then is design of multi story building after the analysis will be reaching over to the design of multi story building and will be understanding this concept also then is the analysis of slab one way and two way slabs how we are going to design and analyze these slabs then is grid slab after that analysis and design of water tank how you can analyze and design a water tank so these reference books which you can use are the similar ones which you have used in case of the theory subjects for the designing of these structures and analysis of these structures okay so for example is 875 part 1 can be used or referred for the uh, dead loads is 875 part 2 can be referred for the live load then is 875 part 3 can be referred for wind load is 875 part 5 can be referred for the special loads and in addition to that the is 1893 can be referred for the earthquake loads uh, then talk about the ca category ca is will be having two ca and one design problem one ca will be conducted before mte and the second ca will be conducted after mte both are compulsory and uh, later on will be after mte session we will be giving you one design problem fine that will be individual based that means individually each student has to perform one analysis and design based on the design problem related to him all the three cas are compulsory okay so there is no choice in addition to that uh, remember one thing that uh, while you will be coming from your coming for your classes you will be submitting each time the uh, practice sheets that means you will be allotted sheets whatever the work has been done and the same work you are going to tag in a file and will be carrying it in every lab okay or in the final viva you have to come along with all your experiments being tagged into that file so these are the instructions for you which you should follow strictly that you should have individual tag file your worksheets will be kept as a record and without tag file you are not supposed to come in the classroom okay then it should be strictly tagged should not be stapled or load sheet should be there okay and uh, remember one more thing whenever you are working in the laboratory your pc then in that case whatever the work you are doing please make sure that you are saving it as per your roll number no suggestion could be as per name also but i will suggest that you submit uh, save it save it as per your registration number because that is never going to be the you know replicating with anyone okay so these are the suggestions hope you have understood these things and uh, you will enjoy learning this software because this is one of the very important software in case of civil engineers okay because you have to just not understand the things only or get the knowledge but you have to add on the skills also 
so this is one software which can add on to your skills in addition to your analytical knowledge okay so good luck for your next class and be ready